The Pacific Ocean is the birthplace of surfing. Hawaiians may have lost their kingdom, but surfers have been the leaders in a struggle for an environmental and cultural rebirth. Today, native surfers still rule the surfing world, but sometimes all that glitters is not gold. They also have harsh realms to overcome. A perfect example, Sonny Garcia. Sonny Vincent Garcia, the 43-year-old Hawaiian surf icon, lived two decades on the ASP World Tour and has numerous wins under his belt. His powerful and controversial style and his pride demand respect. He is still stoked about surfing, but he had to learn it the hard way. I was born and raised on the west side of Oahu. You know, it's a tough place. You know, um, I came from a broken family. My, my parents were divorced when I was five years old, so I lived with my mom, uh, my oldest sister, and two younger brothers. And yeah, you know, we had a nice house, I and mean, we didn't have, you know, much money. But um, you know, I, I was fortunate. You know, I you know, spent a lot of the time just at the beach and, and surfing, and you know, I guess that was my uh, my way out. That way out led directly to the world tour, but the Hawaiian spirit and roots which had been passed on to him were hard to fulfill off the island. Hawaii people were all about family and community, so you know when you when you travel, it's a it's a lonely place. So it, it, you know all around, I mean, it, it's hard just getting the sponsors then finally getting on the road and then being away from home. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a long, hard road. You know, when I was like 13, 14, I was real fortunate to be able to travel around with Dan Kailoi. Having them do that for me, I've always tried to make sure I give back. We have, you know, really good group of young, up and coming guys, you know, like, being that Hawaii has a, a bigger push in these next couple of years. So can Sonny still be surfing Hawaii's flag bearer? I don't really have a role in competitive surfing now. You know, for me, it's just having fun. Still very competitive, but for me, it's just about going out and just just being there more more so than anything. You know, before. You know, the goal was always to win, win, win. Um, now it's just more or less kind of have fun, um, enjoy, you know, every last minute of it. But it wasn't like this all his life. Sonny is still known for his strong character and needed to fight for respect at times. My wife Colleen has been <laughs> been a really big pain in my side as, as far as you know really trying to get me to change change my life and change certain things and you know I think just you know being able to try different things have, has mellowed me out a lot and I see I see things different I mean I'm still very 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 much the same person and I'm fighting it as much as I can but you know, I'm a little more open to things, so it's made made my life a lot lot easier to you know to be able to look at things in a different different way. After all the ups and downs in his life, including surf stardom, a ton of money, a world championship, three marriages, tax troubles, prison, a surfing comeback, and being a grandpa, how does this rub off on the Hawaiian? I had so many times in my life where I just wanted to sit in the corner and not do anything. But, you know, fortunately for me, you know, I'll be able to get up and keep moving. You know, and uh, I think that's the biggest key in life, you know, is, is as long as you're trying, you're not failing. You know, the minute you stop, you fail. 
If everything was easy, everybody would be doing it. I wanted a world title, I achieved that. I wanted to win the Triple Crown, I achieved that. So right now, you know, my goal in life is just to have fun and, and be happy. And um, that's gonna take the rest of my life to achieve. So I'm just getting up and moving forward every day. And that's, that's the best I can do. Sonny was and is still a tough competitor in life, but his surfing roots let him overcome everything. His success is a triumph against all odds, without losing sight of the essence, the reason ancient natives surfed and why he still does it today. Good fun. We need to move forward and still be Hawaiian, be who we are, don't look back to the past, don't cry about the hurt, move forward and do better and share that with our children.